Hi, it's Dave Roman Astro, and tonight is going to be finally after I don't know. I think I got this camera back in I want to say September of last year, and I'm finally just now doing first light on it. It's the OGMA AP26 CC camera, which has the same IMX. 571 chip that the ASI 2600 MM Pro or MC Pro camera use. And of course the AP26CC, that's the color camera. And it's my, I don't usually do color. Uh, I really like mono. I, I, I in fact, I just love mono. Uh, you get a lot more detail and yeah, I just really like mono so But I need to have a color camera or at least I think I do and so I am trying this one out So what am I gonna do first light on well, let me show you so we'll start here at the back end This is the OGMA AP 26 CC camera with the tilt adjuster so that way I can adjust for tilt if I encounter any. The camera comes with LEDs, which I believe that Toptec is the manufacturer of this camera. The same manufacturer who does the cameras for Rising Cam, and I believe that Quiv the Lazy Geek has a Rising Cam camera, and he has talked about these LEDs. Those of you who follow Quiv probably have seen that video. But uh, what's nice about this camera, it has a lot of the same features and functionality that the ZWO one has, including a two port hub here in the back. So I've got my focus, I mean, my filter wheel, which is my next item here. It's a two inch five position filter wheel. It's actually a fairly new piece of kit. And in there I've got two filters. I have the IR cut filter that came with the camera. When you buy the camera, you get the tilt adjuster and you get the IR cut filter as part of the package. And I've also got the Antlia tri-band filter in here as well for color cameras. And then of course I've got my Pegasus Astro uh, Falcon rotator so that I can rotate. And my ZWO focuser. And of course this is all on my RC six inch. And she's riding on my G11 Last Mandy with the tucked in motors and the spring warm gears, which I am still tweaking and still getting it to um, work as good as she did before I brought her in. Seems that I brought her in to have the tucked in motors and the uh, spring loaded worms. And when I got it back, the guiding's a little bit worse, but I think it's just a matter of just dialing, dialing it in. Plus the temperature differential, it's been pretty chilly here in the Phoenix area. So that's what I'm doing first light with. And yeah. So we'll see how it turns out. Uh, my goal is, is I got two nights of available imaging time. So I'll run it for two nights as, and I'll get as many subs as I possibly can. And I'll see what I come up with. So the target that I picked is IC410, the Tadpoles Nebula. Part of the issue that I had, and I basically tried to collect data over like almost a three week period. And out of those three weeks, I was only able to amass about eight hours integration time because of clouds. Um, every time that I would set up, clouds would start rolling in and the quality of the subs suffered greatly. Now this scope is an F9. And so you can just imagine it's a pretty slow scope. And so the image that you're going to see, it clearly suffers from a lack of integration time. Thinking that I'm going to throw this camera on to my new 6-inch Newtonian, which is an F4, 
just to see if I can get better integration.